we wanted you to sort of really embody a goose, uh, to sort of get, find, give you ways to sort of express your essential gooseness. Um, and so I think the animation like gets you about ninety percent of the way there. That waddle, quality work. Uh, but yeah, you can also sort of you can uh, like crane your long neck around. Uh, that's very useful for, say, reaching down to grab this picket basket. <laughs> and like, and all right, I'll just, uh, yeah. Uh, you can, um, you can flap your wings, which doesn't do anything in the game right now, and I don't know if we've if it ever will, it's just a thing that you can do. <laughs> uh, and crucially, as foreshadowed earlier, uh, you can honk. <laughs> you can honk as much as you like. Because games are about power fantasies. <laughs> and you can just sort of do all of it. <laughs> It's a very easy way to get laughs. <laughs> this is good, all right. Um, yeah, and so, so one half of the game, going back to the design document, uh, you're a goose, and then the other half is that you're horrible to people. Um, and so, yeah, there's a, a human characters in our game. Um, people that you can be horrible to. Uh, and so we've sort of had to make them, to, to make this, this sort of interaction between the goose and people interesting, we sort of needed to make them really uh, reactive and uh, really respond to everything that you do. Um, so, uh, and we've also got a checklist of, that the goose wrote earlier, I guess, um, of, of things that, that you want to do just to sort of like guide the player through the world and, and sort of this isn't like the sum total of things that you can do in the game, but it's like a suggestion of here's, here's how we want you to interact with this game. Uh, so like the first one is to get into the garden, and there's a bunch of ways you can do that. Oh, I wonder what this game. Oh, hang on. So one of them, the, the other one is also to get the groundskeeper wet, and we... Yeah. <laughs> so we got him with the sprinkler. He then... Comes back around. He can get back in because he's got keys, but if we steal those keys later, he can't. Um, <laughs> So yeah, we, we sort of, we wanted to make the kind of just baseline uh, kind of dynamic between these two characters really particular. That's kind of the, the, the heart of the game or the core of the game. Um, and so that is sort of built on all these tiny little interactions. So like, you'll notice that he's just sort of always eyeing off the goose. Oh. And you can sort of <laughs> interact with them that way. He's very wary. Uh, and like, if they, um, you know, if they like hear a noise, but they don't know where it came from, oh, hey man, his radius, there you go. They'll, they'll look for you. This is gonna work. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> well, for a minute. Uh, and yeah, um, what else is there? But yeah, also if you just, like get too close to them, they sort of buffer you away, give you a little shoe. Oh, five minutes left. This is a demo, uh, timed demo that we showed at a thing recently. I'm just going to erase that. Uh, 
Yeah, but beyond just sort of like running at people and honking at them, we thought uh, an interesting way to uh, interact with uh, these, these people is through items in the world. Um, I'm just going to take a secret shortcut to get back in. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so like, yeah, the, the, the real kind of the loop of the game, pretty much all of, not all of, but, but many of these, uh, these, check, these sort of goals and most of the things that you want to be doing is sort of taking items or messing up items. Um, and so that's kind of the core loop, is the idea that you're going to take something of his and he'll see you and then he'll, he'll take it and then he'll take it back to its home. And that's really crucial. Um, the, the, the game is sort of always tidying up after you. Um, you're, you're, you exist as, it, it's this like perfectly orderly world, uh, and you exist as kind of this agent of chaos that sort of exists to disrupt that order, but then it sort of puts itself back together again. And I'll get into that uh, in a little while. Because yeah, he's like, he's just got a job to do. And sort of getting in his way and being. <laughs> yeah, maybe less. Um, but yeah, this idea of like the, the gardener trying to get something done and you're basically just there to make sure that he can't do that. 